Hi everyone, welcome back to the another video of Indianas Academy. So guys, in the previous videos, we have been comparing the different types of the turbines such as the Belton wheel turbine, Francis turbine, Kaplan turbine. And now, over here, in this particular video, we are going to learn about the specific speed of the turbine. So what is the exact meaning of the specific speed and why it is required over here, we are going to learn in this particular video. So guys, if you are new over here on my education channel, please do subscribe and please press the bell icon. So whenever I upload an uh, educational informative video, you will get instant notification. So without wasting any time, let's begin with our today's topic that is nothing but the specific speeds of turbine. So guys, first of all, we have to understand that in case of any of the turbine, a certain amount of the head gets imparted on that particular turbine blade so it causes the turbine blade to rotate and it will ultimately produce the power in terms of electricity so first of all in the case of a pelton wheel turbine let's say i'm having the available head of the 100 meters now this particular 100 meters of the head will impart on the pelton wheel turbine causes the pelton wheel turbine to rotate at a certain speed but that particular speed at which the pelton wheel will rotate is not the specific speed. This particular speed, so let's say the 100 meters of the head will get imparted on the Pelton wheel turbine causes it to rotate at 60 RPM. So this particular 60 RPM is the speed of the Pelton wheel turbine. It is not the specific speed. However, let's say I'm having a different turbine, let's say Francis turbine and the available head is th that is the same that is of 100 meters. So if I allow that particular head to impart on the Francis turbine, the Francis turbine will rotate at maximum speed. Let's say the speed of the Francis turbine will be around 100 RPM. So at that particular point, we are getting the different speeds, uh, different speeds in case of these two different uh, uh, turbines. Well, over here, I have kept the available head like which is same for this both the two of the turbines. So for the Pelton wheel turbine, I'm getting 60 RPM is the speed and for the Francis turbine, I'm getting 100 RPM. So this is nothing but the speed of the respective turbines, but it is not the specific speed. So let's understand what is the exact meaning of the specific speed. This particular specific speed of the turbine can be defined as the speed at which the unit power gets developed under unit head. So over here, the unit head will be the input and the output will be the unit power. And the corresponding speed at that point is known as the specific speed of the any of the turbine. So let's get back to the, our previous example, like of the available head is of the 100 meters for the Belton wheel turbine and the Francis turbine. If I reduce the head for the this uh, those two of the turbines such as the unit head that is of the one meter the Pelton wheel turbine will rotate at the different speed and the Francis turbine will rotate at the different speed so at that particular point when these two of the turbines produces the same power output that is of the same power output but at this particular scenario this particular uh, Francis turbine and the Pelton wheel turbine will be having the different speeds the available head is of the unit head and the power we are getting is that of the unit power. But the corresponding speeds at which these two Pelton wheel turbine and the Francis turbine will rotate, the speeds will be different. Now, those speeds can be termed as the specific speed of the these two of the turbines. That is the specific speeds for the Pelton wheel and for the Francis turbine. So guys, this is nothing but the concept of the specific speed and this specific speed can be used to differentiate between the, this uh, types of the turbines that is the impulse and the reaction turbines. Over here, this uh, impulse turbine, Pelton wheel turbine will be having the specific speeds less than 60 RPM. Whereas in case of the Francis turbine, it can go from 50 to 250 RPM and in case of the Kaplan turbine, it is having the higher specific speeds that is, it can go from 250 to 1000 RPM. So this particular specific speed is the criteria which is used to distinguish between the these types of the turbines. 
Also, we can calculate this uh, specific speed by using the formula of ns is equals to n under root p divided by h raised to 5 by 4. So over here, ns is the specific speed of the turbine, n is the speed of the runner blade, p is the power developed by the turbine in kilowatt and h the available head in meters. So this is the formula which is used to calculate the specific speed of the any of the turbine. Also guys, the, uh, this particular specific speed can be used to predict the performance of the any of the turbine. So guys, this is nothing but the specific speed of the turbine blades. I hope you understood this simple topic of the specific speeds and why it is required. So guys, thank you so much for watching this educational video. If you're having any doubts, any queries, please leave a comment and please do subscribe to my educational channel, Ingenious Academy.